We're here to see, look at the principles, look at the lessons here, and then apply it into my life. How does it affect me? How does it improve my life? يخادعون الله والذين آمنوا وما يخدعون إلا أنفسهم وما يشعرون في قلوبهم مرض فزادهم الله مرضا ولهم عذاب أليم بما كانوا يكذبون. Today we'll be taking empowerment from verses eight to ten. And this is a very important topic. It talks about the people who are hypocrites, the munafiqin. Now, we're not here to judge who is a munafiq and who is not, okay? So that's the other extreme. We are here to see, look at the principles, look at the lessons here, and then apply it into my life. How does it affect me? How does it improve my life? So here we learn about a few things. One is that there are people who are trying to deceive other people. So they may be doing things, they may be saying things just to confirm with the people so that they don't stand out, they don't get questioned by the people. So that's just doing it to please people or to get in their good books. But these people at the end of the day, yes, you will get that temporary benefit, but you will also make the effort, but at the end of the day, on the day of judgment and a life in the hereafter, you will not be able to benefit from any of that. So now the key quality that is mentioned here, which leads to that state of hypocrisy is the state is the is the quality of being a liar is the quality of misguiding people is the quality of deceiving people and that's something we all need to think about that do i have statements or actions or communications in my life where i may be deceiving people whether it be in a personal matter a business matter you know excessive marketing whatever it is like am i do i have these qualities where i tend to be of deceiving nature and then lastly the third thing here is that that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions that these are the people who allowed and let their heart be contaminated, that let their heart be away from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and let their heart have a sickness of heart, right? So they chose to do that. They could have chosen to repent and cleanse their heart, but they did not choose that and that led them to further deviate and further dive deeper into the state of hypocrisy. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect us all.